I'm not going to follow a tearjerker with another tearjerker. <laughs> that was very nice, Sarah. Mr. Potts, I didn't know you had that kind of sense of humor. <laughs> Glad to know that. Um, so, this morning I found out uh, something that's a little bit relevant to what Sarah was talking about. She first met Ben at a life-size cookie monster in the form of what all of you probably don't know, except for about four or five of us, that Ben got married today wearing Cookie Monster boxers. <laughs> He's still got a lot, I think. So. <laughs> Ben was my roommate for 20 years, probably more. When uh, we were 11 months apart for the day, I was born on February 2nd of 86, Ben on January 2nd of uh, 87. Still have no idea how that was pulled off. It's a bold statement. That was blushing. Chew on him for a few minutes. <laughs> uh, when, when, uh, my mom, my mom dressed us up in Halloween costumes growing up, like made costumes, like the whole thing. It was, it was awesome. I was Batman. Ben was Robin. <laughs> I was the Hulk. Ben was the ultimate rodeo. <laughs> if you get a chance to check out a, uh, an, old, an old home movie of Ben at uh, anywhere between one and a half years old to about five and a half, no R's and L's present in any of his speech. So it was the ultimate rodeo. Who come out and play?
actually met her before that. I was playing a basketball game, a uh, pickup basketball game, and Katie uh, took me to school on a basketball court before she ever even met Ben. So Ben met, meets this girl, starts telling me about her, I meet her at a football game, and I was like, I think, I think she took me to school. She absolutely kicked my ass on a basketball <laughs> three years ago. And she's not going to say anything to me, but I know that's a girl, and it's just kind of embarrassing. Nothing I can really do. Um, and, and I've learned that Katie has a personality that's like mine that can complement Ben's, and that gives me a lot of comfort. Uh, ben, Ben's a guy who's, everybody who's seen Ben's spreadsheets, or who's seen his lists, or uh, if you look around this room and see who you're sitting at a table with, uh, Katie, Katie's a bride. Brides usually, you know, there's a term called bridezilla that's used. I've heard the term groomzilla thrown around the last couple days. <laughs> my brother's a guy that takes charge, and uh, Katie and my mom actually bought him a wedding planning book. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of guy we're working with here. And, uh, and, and, Katie, and Katie is uh, Katie's going to compliment him well. I talked about how Ben was Robin when I was Batman, uh, how Ben was the ultimate warrior when I was the Hulk, and how he kind of was a, he followed behind me in a lot of ways. And that can be taken, he said, Ben just following me along the wall. When I was, uh, I think, probably about five or six years old, my parents walked in on a conversation between my brother and I when we were in bed, where Ben's telling me, just got back from a 24 hour drive back from Florida, and Ben's telling me, whoa, see you this Santa Claus, fly to every house in one night. It just took us 24 hours to come home from Florida. <laughs> Seriously? So Ben told me that Santa Claus wasn't real. Really. I, got, I got in our family's minivan when I was uh, you know, probably around the same age. It was a car you could throw into gear without putting a key in the ignition and <laughs> put it in reverse. And my parents uh, are alarmed because Ben runs inside. Dwo was such an idiot. <laughs> he drove the car right into the gallery. <laughs> so, if anybody, if anybody gets the impression that uh, that I think Ben is following me, or Ben's, Ben's uh, somebody who's always looking up to me. Nah. <laughs> Here, here's a guy who's probably taught me as much as I hope I've taught him. Um, Ben's my little brother. He's one of my best friends. Uh, we, we don't have we don't have many conversations, mostly because we don't have to. Um, the two of us know what each other thinks. We know what's going on and. Um, I think when it comes to a situation like this where Ben, ben starts talking about you know, getting serious with this girl, getting married to Katie, I didn't really have to say anything to him. It was, it was pretty obvious to me, pretty obvious to everybody, that for a guy that strives for perfection, you got it. You don't really need anything else. There's, uh, there's a point in your best man speech where you got to say something nice about the bride. It's, uh, it, it's the easiest part of this one. There's, everybody that knows Katie likes her. There's not a single person who's ever met this girl or come across her path that's walked away and saying anything negative. And how could I possibly want something better than that to do with my brother? You can't. That's the best thing you can possibly want. So, to the Potts family, your daughter moved to Buffalo. You're giving up something uh, very special to you, and you're not giving her up. She's just moving away. She's in good hands. Uh, she's got another brother, another sister. She's got people, you know, probably 2,000 yards away, what is it? Up two driveways that <laughs> consider her a daughter of their own. And Consider her somebody that's uh, welcome to change of pace. Uh, let's bring some color to, to everyday life. Katie is somebody that you have no worries, uh, even though she's a little.
little bit further away from me now. She is in good hands. And I hope that uh, I hope that things keep going as well as well as they are now. I have no doubt they will. Thank you for hosting us. This has been fantastic. And uh, this the spot to the left of me has got tables on it right now. Those tables are going to be gone in a few minutes, and uh, or after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody that's sitting down right now, they better be taking advantage of this awesome hospitality and dancing their asses off. Thank you. Thank you.